Hey guys, Gene here, and today I'll be showing you how I work in Rhino 6. The previous videos, which I will leave in the description below, I showed you how to set up the options as well as setting up the shortcut keys. You can see them right here again. Okay, so I have a whole list of hotkeys that I've set up that I will be showing you how I use it. You will also see in future videos um, me utilizing this uh, way of working in Rhino. The reason why I like to work with hotkeys uh, a lot is uh, when you work many many hours in Rhino like I do, the 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 old the normal way is to go in here and type in the command you can also access your tools by going up to this menus up here you can access rotate and mirror uh, bowling differences right here uh, it's it's a good way to work but again it does take a little too much energy if some of you might uh, agree with me uh, another way to access the tools is to go in here click and hold you have to wait for the menu to open and you select this command here rather than having it ready in the pop-up menu uh, if you want to access the bowling difference you have to go in here click and hold and bowling difference is right there again that takes way too much energy uh, especially for me what i like to do is i like to put my hotkeys as uh, readily accessible um, in the keyboard I have a couple of commands that I use in aliases, but uh, it's, it's more of the uh, ability to access them while my hands are already in the keyboard. So, uh, I my left my left hand is always on Control and Shift. All right, if you look in your keyboard there on the left side, what I'd like to do is just like playing a piano, you want to use Control and a combination of other letters that are close to what your fingers can reach so uh, normally my fingers can reach from control all the way up to T Y U uh, around G H and J but everything towards the left I load that up with the hotkeys you can use a combination if I go back to the menu here you can use a combination of uh, control you can see here then control and shift and a bunch of letters and I think numbers then control alt as well as letters and control and numbers control shift and numbers so you could see how many commands that you could uh, put in this entire uh, window okay so uh, please go over these uh, go over the video that uh, I, I put up applying all these commands into the menu uh, I will go over some of the most essential ones that I use and hopefully in later videos you'll see me using them uh, in my workflows okay so let me just show you a few things um, the first thing I want to show you is how I navigate around uh, Rhino in terms of selecting visibility uh, zooming in and isolating certain objects and this is very key when you're working okay uh, the first thing I like to do, uh, I w I'd like to show you is uh, the ability to zoom using the window. This command right here. So I have the hotkey set as, as F1. So if I hit F1, I can actually draw a window, let's say, over the corner of this box here. And see how it quickly zoomed into it. Okay, so I'll do it again. Uh, I'll pick uh, somewhere along this uh, circle here. Okay, it's really useful. I use this pretty much every single time. The next hotkey I want to show you is the ability to zoom in to a selected object, curve, or surface. Okay, so if I select this point here, um, I want to use the zoom selected command. But the hotkey I like to use is Control shift z Okay, well if I turn off the gumball real quick, you can see that it's already zoomed into that point. So I'll select, let's say, this box. Control shift z um, you can see how easy it is to like snap to anything that you select it's really neat um, okay so 
If you find a different combination that works for you, by all means use it. But I feel like Control Shift Z is so close to my fingers that it's a no-brainer to use that as the uh, the sticky zoom that I like to use pretty much every single time. The next thing I like to show you is uh, let's see um, the ability to uh, select something and lock everything else. Well, actually, let's select something and lock it. Okay, so. Um, the combination of hotkeys is actually just uh, using Control Shift Alt and W. Okay, so those four key combinations will be used um, at least on my end to lock, unlock, and invert lock objects. So, if I want to lock something, I can select, let's say that uh, box, and if I want to lock it, I hit Control W. It's locked. I can't select it. Okay, let me unlock that real quick. Unlocking is Control Shift and W, so I can lock and unlock. Control Shift W will unlock your model. If I want to select the model and lock everything else, use Control Alt and W. Okay, so you can see that everything else is locked. Okay, you can't select it. So it's a, it's actually a very powerful tool or a combination of keys. Uh, again, they're very easy to access with even small fingers okay short fingers um, the um, again to unlock control shift W so you can see that I can quickly select something lock everything else I can select it uh, well you don't have to select it to unlock it okay so I can select the point lock everything else I can zoom into it do my thing unlock uh, and so forth the next thing I want to show you is the ability to um, reset your four viewports you can see that this is the icon here to reset the four viewports so if you left click it resets uh, to the four views but if you click it left click again it resets uh, the actual orientation of all the cameras then when you right click it puts everything on your screen okay so let me show you uh, the hotkey that I use to um, reset my four views uh, again you could always switch it any way else you want um, so if I get this view out of whack and I want to reset all four viewports the hotkey I use is control shift Q you can see that uh, I can reset all four views then if I use control alt and Q I can reset the four viewports so it's much faster than going up here left clicking or right clicking uh, it's way faster um, you could use aliases it's your preference but uh, I feel more comfortable using it this way um, again I also sometimes go here to the pop-up menu and where is that there it is uh, either or works here here or the hotkeys okay uh, okay so that's just some of the things that I like to do with navigating all right so um, I showed you how I uh, uh, so let's let's select an object um, right now when I select it I have the gumball on I have a hotkey to turn the gumbo on and off. Uh, again, go into the options keyboard section and look for the specific hotkeys that um, I do call out. And you can always go back and review it. So, the hotkey to uh, turn the gumbo on and off, I like to use Control Alt Z. So, that's a really quick way to turn the gumbo on and off. Okay, simple enough. So let's uh, go through a couple of things here that I like to use. Uh, now in this section here, uh, I want to rotate this, this poly curve along this point. So rotate, I like to use um, F2. Okay, you can see how easy that is to select it rather than going up here and selecting it, going through the motion. All right, so F2, there you go, easy, all right. The next thing I like to do is, uh, well, let me go first and hide these, uh, hide everything else. If I want to rotate from zero, uh, one of the hotkeys I like to use, uh, I already told you rotate is F2. If I wanted to rotate from zero, it would be F2, then F4. So F2, zero would be F4. Okay, so I can quickly rotate to the other side. So F2, F4. Okay, let me do that again. All right, 
The next thing I want to show you is how I uh, mirror. Uh, mirror uh, on my hotkey is F5. So to quickly access the mirror tool, just hit F5. Then if I want to mirror from zero, F5, F4. That's really quick. All right. So let's put that right here. And let's say you're building uh, anything from a ring or uh, the side of a car or something, and you want to mirror it the entire uh, object over. F5, F4, hold shift, and uh, I'll do it again. F5, F4, hold shift, pull up, then left click, and it's uh, immediately connected to the other side. All right. The next thing I want to show you is a uh, move. Um, it's pretty simple. You can just hit F6 and just move it to anywhere you want. Uh, copy, I use F7. Um, F8, F9, I don't really use. And F10, you all know it pulls up the control points. Um, that's by default, so I don't have to teach you that. And uh, finally, F12, I just set it. Uh, let me get out of that real quick. For F12, I simply set that up for uh, the options. So if I ever want to change anything on the options, F12 is my go-to to access the options tab. Okay. The next thing I want to show you, let me go ahead and just isolate these guys right here. We'll zoom in. If I want to select only the points, uh, you can see that I have uh, single curves and all the edges. Let me just pull that curve out. I also have points right here on the edges, on all eight uh, corners of this cube. If I wanted to select only the points, uh, I like to use uh, F1 with a combination of uh, control. So control F1 will select only my points. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on the gumball so you can see that I can just move just the points. All right. If I want to select only the curves, I hit control F2. And now only the curves are selected. Okay, easy enough. Now if I only want to select, uh, let's say, let's isolate these guys again. If I only want to select just the surfaces, because I just want to keep the curves visible, I can hit F3. And you can see that only the curves are selected. The, the points and, I mean, only the surfaces are selected. All the points and curves are uh, remaining that weren't selected. Okay, so again, if I want to select only the surfaces, I hit F3, and you can see that it's uh, by itself, not the points and curves. So uh, it's really neat. If I want to, um, let me just repeat this. If uh, let's say we're done creating your model and you're left with a bunch of points and curves, you want to quickly delete them. Just hit Control F1, F2, then uh, the command I like to use to delete is no, not hitting delete button because that's way up in the top right of your uh, keyboard. Uh, again, that can be very tiring. If you want to access delete using a hotkey, um, I set it up as control X. All right. So uh, let's say I want to delete this uh, surface here. Just simply hit control X and it deletes the uh, surface itself. So it's much faster this way. Again, if I want to uh, delete the points and curves, hit Control uh, F1, F2 to isolate just the points and curves, and hit Control X to delete. Okay, so it's a really neat way to work. Uh, you could already see that it's a, it could be very useful if you work with it. So um, let's go ahead and unlock our scene. I'm going to zoom into this. Uh, I like to use uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to use uh, split and trim using hotkeys. Uh, I switched up split. Uh, I, by default, Control S in Rhino is save. I took that out and replaced it with split. So just to show you how quickly I can split something uh, using a combination uh, at the end with delete. So if I want to split the blue with the green, just simply select Control S, drag a big box over everything, right click, then I hold Control drag a bounding box over the bottom these are still selected then hit control x to delete so once again i'll show you how quick we can uh, access these uh the split workflow so you can see that uh 
I, I overextended the bounding box. So let's do this again. So control S, bounding box, and uh, you can see how quick that was, all right? Same thing with trim. You can just select everything. Control T is by default. So just draw a bounding box over it, and you're good to go. The next thing I want to show you is, uh, again, uh, working with uh, surfaces. You can see that I, I want to take this ball and possibly uh, boline it out of this uh, rectangle. So if I wanted to access boline difference, you can again go up here and just uh, go to solid, look for difference, and uh, you're on your way. Or you can also go here, access it uh, in this submenu. But if you want to do it a lot faster, you can easily uh, access it by, um, I set it up as control D. So I'll select the surface, hit control D, select the cutter and right click. So you can see it's much faster this way. Um, let's go ahead and apply bowling difference again. If I created a hole and I don't want it anymore, a hotkey that I set up is the untrim. So uh, untrim, for those that don't know it, is you can actually, uh, as long as there's no surface edge breaking through this, you can actually close that back up the way it originally was. So I will hit Control U to access untrim, select the edge, and it's completely closed again. Okay, so uh, moving along, let's go ahead and speed through this. And if I want to access Boleyn, uh, let's say split, I'll select the uh, object I want to cut. Control B, as in boy, is my hotkey. Select the, we'll select the uh, surface and hit right click. You can see that it's split immediately. Then Control X to delete. Okay, so you can see how pretty neat this command, uh, this workflow or way of working is really good. So select Control B and delete it. Okay. Um, if I want to access, let's say, uh, the sweep to command, this is the uh, sweep to command. Uh, I like to use uh, Control Shift uh, and R as my combinations for the sweep tools. So if you have uh, two rails and a cross section, you could select them ahead of time. The hotkey is Control Shift and R. Okay. For sweep one, just use Control R. Cool. Then uh, let's say you wanted to do a loft. Uh, you could use a hotkey like uh, I use Control Shift and X. Okay, so just to show you that uh, these tools are pretty neat um, to access commands. Uh, one more command I want to show you in this workflow is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, duplicate the edges real quick of this surface I just created. Is that a surface? Yeah. So let's say you have four curves and you want to access the network surface command. Um, the hotkey I like to use is control shift and C. Okay. You can see that uh, you know once you figure out which commands you like to use a lot. My my biggest tip to you um, if you want to take something from this video is find a way to access it as fast as possible. Uh, believe me uh, from experience that uh, if, if you're not working this way after all this time you're uh, really making yourself suffer. Okay so um, do your best to um, memorize the commands that you use a lot. Some of you will probably never use some of these commands. Some of you already know it, but uh, I highly suggest uh, memorizing the tools that you use a lot. And uh, step two is to actually put them into uh, a key shortcut combination technique. Okay. Um, there are a lot more hotkeys that I use, but I'm not going to bore you with another 30 minutes of uh, all the commands I use. So. Again, if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you have a comment or a question or a suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. 
And if you want to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.